salary is the drug they give you when they want you to forget about your dreams. Because it's very easy to stay in that world where somebody is mitigating your risk. You just have to perform certain tasks, do them well for a third of your day, and they will feed you a salary. Once again, there's another episode of Being Africa All Out right here on Discover Music Channel. And of course, you know, I got with me my better half. Yes, sir. And today we have a special treat. I have Lano the Sage in the building. Lano! Lano the Sage, let me educate you, ladies and gentlemen. But glad to be here. <laughs> so today we are, of course, you know, um, We've concluded the matrimony chapter. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. And um, today I want to talk about believing in yourself and your product, right? So usually I don't do this because it doesn't stay relevant. You know, delving into what's going on on social media, but I think that this is a timeless conversation and of recent, and I, I'd like you to expound on it, Lano. There was a young lady that traveled to the Bahamas. She is a travel vlogger and artist. Mm -hmm. She travels all around the world, basically doing the same thing. She right. had... She enjoyed herself in the Bahamas. You go ahead. Tell tell them what, what tell them about her and the things that transpired um over the course of probably seventy two to seventy two hours. Yeah, that that's exactly it. Within seventy two hours, things were right until they got left. Whew. Um she ended up putting out a open verse challenge, if I'm not mistaken, probably put it out Thursday. And she put it out for the sole purpose of, of course, anyone could get on it, um, do their open verse challenge on TikTok. But she was specifically looking for a Bahamian artist that she would select to be on it. Keep in mind, I need to make that very clear. She made it very specific that she would choose a Bahamian artist while placing this open verse challenge on TikTok an international platform for anyone to get on. All right. We have that part clear. A lot of Bahamian artists got on. A lot of Bahamian artists did their thing straight up from Thursday up to Friday, up to Saturday. And then some chicks from Canada, if I'm not mistaken, some Jamaican chicks from Canada, they hopped on. They did the challenge. And of course, she liked it. But there was a comment made by a Bahamian girl saying, and I quote, Bahamians only. And that's where things kind of started to make a turn because her response to the girl was a video saying, hold on, wait a minute. How could it be Bahamians only for doing the open verse if I'm not Bahamian? So. Strike one. Yeah. <laughs> so she says, as far as she's concerned, anyone can get on the open verse challenge. That Hold includes. On, I, I need to. I need to interject her, her sassiness. She said, "Baby." <laughs> she said, "Baby." <laughs> I like my. I like my music. Like I like my resorts. All inclusive. All inclusive. Oh. <laughs> All I, inclusive. Wait, hold on. And as she adorned Saxon paraphernalia <laughs> let, let we go and if you don't know what saxons is for, for, for those that are not bahamian right saxons is a group out of the bahamas it is distinctively bahamian and she had on a shirt representing the bahamas while she talked greasy about bahamians now i understand that she was setting the record straight like hey this challenge is open to everybody but, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> but I don't know if you don't know. You better ask them comedians. You better ask Ludacris. You better ask Funk Master Flex Bahamians to tell you, deep, huh? <laughs> because we don't play that. So anyway, she got, she got a little slickerish with the tongue. She was like, baby, what? <laughs> You, and then she did the hand. 
You know them black men, they do the hand, right? She said, baby. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, see, that's a that trigger for me. When I see somebody putting their hand out, I'm like, wait, hold on, who, who the fuck <laughs> are you talking to? But the thing is, that ain't even what caused Behemoth to spark off. No, what caused Behemoth no, 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 to but, spark but off. I, I just gave you two, 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 two. That, that was that was that was the way. That was her mannerisms. <laughs> that was her, that was her mannerisms in her talk. Then she said, "Hola, hola, hola, hola." Sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's the population of the Bahamas? And the and then Siri said. Two two hundred and forty-eight thousand. She said, and uh 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 what? Why my numbers out? It's Let's only, run. We can talk. We can talk about only a thirty-four thousand. Only verse. If y'all run up my numbers to three thousand, three hundred thousand, because it's only thirty-four thousand right now. <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> that that is and when the things CYC went left. Came out. <laughs> <laughs> People put on their wall for Galia and was like, "What? I him in." <laughs> hey, oh. even Kungi Joe's was out. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I nah, I, I I can keep it a buck. I can keep it a buck. I was with her on everything she said until she reached that stage. You see what I'm saying? When she reached that stage, I was like, hold on, pause. Right. Number one, you have to remember, this is your bread and butter. This ain't Bahamian's bread and butter. Right. Number two, you enjoyed this country so much that you came back and you did it again. Cool. But that, that, that's besides the point because you do this everywhere that you go. Number three, where the hell was your marketing team? The, the Bahamas ain't your marketing team to run up your numbers, but that's their job to go out there and market this to everybody because everybody in the Grammy in the Bahamas don't always be on their phone. Everybody in the Grammy in Nassau, and she called off Nassau, but there's an education to this because obviously she did not educate herself. For those of you that are listening and understand my voice, understand this. Nassau is only about a speck of downtown New Providence. You feel me? That's only about a speck of a dot in downtown New Providence in the Bahamas. So when she called that office, obviously she was lacking some form of knowledge. She don't know that there are 700 islands and keys in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And we know this because of how she said that. Right. You feel me? Obviously. So if she if she had educated herself a little better, that wouldn't have been something that would have rolled off the tongue so easy. However, I get where she was coming from, but those words were not the right words to say. Realistically speaking, she could have said her first piece and just cut it off if she wanted to make a video. Or she could have done the smart thing and let online beef between people be online beef. You hear for the music and the vibes? Cool. Shut up. Don't say nothing. But that is not where this conversation starts. I wanted to use that as a springboard into the conversation. Again, mm. the open verse challenges one, it runs up the numbers for her because we prior to this, prior to this particular project or this challenge, see, there go that pizza. Um, <laughs> before, prior to this open verse challenge, right? Her numbers were, Lower than they are now. Yeah, they were. Her numbers, her numbers ran up because Bahamians from Bahamians from Alaska to Zimbabwe been checking in, sharing, supporting, commenting, and sharing the challenges and tagging her. Right? Mm -hmm. Followed her. They've got her name hot in the streets. I mean, she hot right now. She said, I don't know. She won't be this kind of hot. But <laughs> she everywhere. I mean, I find I find people talking about her on Twitter, on Instagram, and on WhatsApp. Like my my WhatsApp my WhatsApp timeline. By that gal, listen. My problem is for close for 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 almost two decades. We've been doing different variations of an open verse challenge via the cipher and other projects in the Bahamas, right? Right. Through radio platforms and other online digital platforms that people mm -hmm. did not gravitate towards because they were produced and created by Bahamians. But as soon as somebody that doesn't sound like you 
gives you some type of validation or approval, you then jump on their platform, run up their numbers. Granted, it's just like, it's just like the streaming platforms, right? You get on their platforms, you share their links and people go and join their sites and you get some streams, right? But you Mm -hmm. only get a percentage of the vast amount of people that are on that platform. So while your numbers might have went up by your your numbers might have increased by 20%, 15%, 10%, the reality is you haven't received all of those thousands of eyeballs that are now on that content because they're constantly binging her content. Right. We don't have the confidence in our product to push out our content. For years, prior, for years, I've been saying that there are platforms available for us to take advantage of. All we have to do is produce the content and be consistent with it, and we will get the same amount of notoriety that we got without having to rely on other people that are not invested in the country and or the talent. Even the Bahamians ain't invested in the country and the talent. And when I say that, I say that because if you hear, if, if like twin them dropped the album, right? Twin them, um, what the little boy, bunch of people drop albums, right? Mm -hmm. And they all felt that they needed to move to the U S in order to push their product in order to be successful, in order to do shows. They didn't tap in to the networks of communities that we have around the world to push their products. As a matter of fact, until this challenge, as long as I have been working with the Bahamian artists community, there are quite a few people that jumped on these on the on this open verse challenge that I've never heard before. Now, I mean, for the most part, pretty much almost everybody that's on there, I've done work with at some point in the last three decades, right? Right. But there were a sizable amount of people, fresh talent, articulate talent. I must say that because I've, I've, I've heard a lot of trash before, right? But there was <laughs> articulate talent that were really putting out quality content. And you can see with a little bit of work, they can be groomed to be good or not necessarily good, but marketable and monetizable. I agree. We... And I'm not and I'm not taking anything away from the young lady, right? I'm not taking anything away from her. And I applaud her for her genuine her genuine excitement about working in the Bahamas and doing content with Bahamians. Because my thing is, how are you gonna do a song about the Bahamas and not put a Bahamian on it? Like it makes no sense, right? Then I also realized that she has to be young because she was like, is three verses too long? And I'm like, who are you? Like, what are you talking about? That's the norm. <laughs> Every song has three verses. <laughs> like, what the fuck is what going on? Y'all, y'all in this new generation where y'all have a do- y'all have a dollar and fifty seconds for freaking for a song. Uh, that in itself, you know, there's a lot of education to be had with this whole process. I know she ain't going to ever do that again. Well, you know, she already did a, a, an apology video, right? I know she did an apology video. But even that, I don't think... Listen, my thing is, stand on business. I said what I said. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I can I can come back and say, you know, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I'm just saying blah, blah, blah. But do not... Don't don't make an apology. Then then use an excuse that you see my eyes were slow. No, you, you just negated everything that you said. 
But I don't want to talk about that. I just want to say that <laughs> we no no no. I just want to say that we need to believe in our products, and that's the bottom line. Believe in your product, invest in your product, and don't don't allow don't rely on other people to validate your worth as an artist. That goes for that goes for any entertainer in the Bahamas or any entertainer throughout the Caribbean. Like right. we have to be confident in the products that we have and consistently push out our product because the more content that we put out there, the more the algorithms pick it up, the more we're searchable, the more people are getting, the more people are getting familiar with your product. The other part is invest and market your products. Same way she on there talking and she she politicking, y'all could get on there politicking and talk about y'all stuff too. You know what I mean? Hey, like, listen, I agree with you. But when I say believing you're in your product, that also goes to the products that we produce as Bahamians, which takes me to the next part of this conversation, which is the review of Bahamas Carnival 2023 and understanding the value of investment and the Carnival product as a whole. Now, I brought you on to talk about Bahamas Carnival 2023 because you were a Carnival virgin in 2023, <laughs> and I bust your cherry. <laughs> I busted right open. Well, please tell me you didn't let that happen. <laughs> Please, 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 you didn't let that happen. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Listen, but. this is I know that you are partially vehement. Let me. <laughs> it started from January 2023 straight up to when Carnival was done. In May 2023. I, I need everybody to understand that Lance does not go outside. So for this to happen, you know, it's like it's like um it's like the Jay-Z song, You Must Love Me. <laughs> All right, so take this in. I ain't a I ain't a person who is party. I don't do the party life. I am a simple man. You give me you give me nature and I got to go. Forever. Carnival is more than a party. Okay? Like, we can keep it a buck. That, that's fair? Yes. All right, cool. That's is, fair. Is that fair? Yeah, it's fair. Okay. It's fair. All right. <laughs> so, I can let you take that's it from there before I speak on it off. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you want me to say, bro. She, listen, listen. As, as weird as that sound, it is the fact. I was a carnival virgin. Never been to no festival or nothing like that. The first time I saw when they introduced carnival in the Bahamas, they had like this very, very small version of carnival. And I was in C I was in CC Sweden Senior High School. And it was like this one little small truck and a couple of dancers. And they was moving. I was like, this is what they call the carnival wife. This is small as hell. Some years later after high school, carnival is now this big old festival and the streets gone done. I been to that. Tell, tell tell me about your first eye opening experience and how you how you responded to the first to your first encounter with Carnival. My first experience with Carnival was uh, it was a turn off. It was truly a turn off by one of the biggest um, bonds over here, which is Bahamas Masquerades. Um, the, the plan was to go there to see their launch party, a launch event, whatever you want to call it. I still ain't getting that right. We were supposed to go in there, see exactly what's going on, look at the nice costume, the gas, them shaking themselves, the dudes, them do their thing, and they advertise in there, why, bomb. However, for whatever reason, due to whatever happened, I couldn't get in, the photographer couldn't get in, none of us get in over an hour and everyone got screw face. No one know how to say hi, good evening, hey, what's going on? And you're talking to people, but people ain't talking to you. So immediately, I already feeling like these people who do carnival got their head shoved up their backside that they ain't know what hospitality is. And everybody want to act hostile. You have one or two people who, hey, baby, you straight? Uh, what's going on? Okay, let me see who I can talk to, but ain't, ain't no one talking. 
that's already the first turn off. Like that was the biggest turn off for me for Carnival. I didn't even want to go to see any other launch event after that. But let me tell you something. Bahamas masqueraders get their head bust off by, by mass chaos because mass chaos was way more welcoming. They were way more welcoming. Everybody looked like they was trying to make this as successful as possible. Everybody knew how to converse. That's the second thing. Even though I didn't converse with who I needed to, to converse with on an interview level when I got to the event, they knew how to take care of your buddy. And they tell you, hey, come, be, uh, you know, we can, be, we can be right here. I get this one for you. I get that one for you. Do you need anything? You want a drink? You want something? No, no, all of that is free. Go over there. Let them know who you are. We will take care of you. That felt nice. And when you see them gals and dudes coming out and they bring in their energy and the sparks and all that, bruh. That, that to me, that helped me understand Carnival a whole lot more. If I could have stayed to that event until morning come, I would have. Because they opened up my eyes on Carnival. They made me feel good about Carnival. Hence the reason why I will always, to the tip of the mountain, I will always rep mass chaos over any bond in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas for Carnival. Fight me on that. I is Lionel the Sage. Wow. I ain't moving from there. That is a powerful statement. And I say that because... When we are talking about an international product or a domestic product, you have to understand that communication and communication and hospitality are the drivers. It doesn't even you could have the worst looking costumes. If you have people that are personable, they make you want to be a part of the vibe and make it better. When you have people that feel like they've arrived and they're too good for the people that are coming to support, you lose. Which is why I think that there are a lot of people that are turned off by the product because they do have a foothold in the market. And they have a foothold in the market because of successful marketing and strategies over the course of the over the course of the last decade. However, with the implementation of a lot of new strategies, they're starting to lose people because the people that are in the front, the people that are the point people don't have the, they just don't have it. They don't have it. All right, so Mass Chaos is your band of choice. You better believe it. What was the first- Shout out Mass Chaos. What was the did did you get a chance to delve into the carnival the carnival aspect like what was your take on the road because you talked about the bands right you talked about your experiences mm -hmm. with the various bands mm -hmm. what was your take when you got on the road <sighs> what was road what I was road march like I will say this. If you ain't got the energy for the road, don't go. Don't go. Because the, the one thing what I appreciated with the road, time. They started on time. They started on time. And, and, and in fact, if I remember correctly, correct me if I am wrong, but if I remember correctly, they started before time. I love being punctual. I can't stomach tardiness. I cannot. You have to respect time when it comes to me. They started beyond on time. Well, I, I know you're going to hate Miami Carnival. I know that because they don't start on time. Then it sounds like I ain't going to never go. <laughs> no, but no, no, no. But even so, even so, even though Miami Carnival doesn't start on time, as a, as a participant, you really don't know. Because you're liming, you're getting yourself together, you're catching your photos. When you get on the road, you're clueless to the fact, you're clueless, really. Yeah, yeah. Mm, because definitely. everybody like starting on time is I would say that that that's based on what you what you consider time. Like if you get out there at nine o'clock, people are out there at nine o'clock, they're waiting to get to their bands, they're eating their breakfast, they they're in their costumes. So really and truly it starts on time because everybody has to get there. You know what I mean? Mm. And there's food available. There, there, there are ambulance and um, the little tr trolleys to take you around if you fall out and pass out. 
I E. We gonna leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Knots. Bushes. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna leave that one alone don't go there just leave it alone now we we talking about sage experience <laughs> we talking about the sage experience now but Bahamas Carnival it started on time when you got on the road when you got on the road what was your first impression like when you actually heard the trucks play the music and see the people reveling when I saw that personally, personally, I was I was waiting to see what all the hype was going to be about. Because once again, I never experienced nothing like that in my life. Aside from Juve. Juve to me was like the baby version of Carnival minus the costumes. But when you see all the costumes and everybody didn't, they didn't, people was running to the road. They was running to the road. You see what they're saying? And when they was running to the road, they didn't line up and they didn't line up in full effect and colors. Everything was marching. Everything was marching. That's what I love. Everybody was unified and the energy didn't, the energy didn't die down. People was hyped from, they was at the stadium compared to when they reached on the road. The energy never died down. So once they touched the road and they kept that energy, everybody was jumping straight from the stadium all the way down to West Bay Street. I can't express how they did it, but they did it. And, and and that was a whole day. That's a whole day that they was just marching, dancing, prancing up and down and just moving and screaming their favorite song. And everybody sounded like there's a choir from they was in primary school. Everybody on one accord when their favorite song come on, especially that masqueraders forward. Everybody could sing that on one accord. Didn't matter which group they was in. When they was on that road, they did what they had to do. And it was all unified. Everyone had their crew or everyone had their boo thing. If you had the crew or the boo thing, you was always marching. And everyone did know someone bust a wine. Yeah, bust a wine. Then keep it moving. I did not expect that kind of unity that day. I truly didn't. I ain't never seen that type of unity on any form of festival in that regard compared to Carnival 2023. So if you were, I mean, you know, like I said, that, you bust your cherry. That was the first time. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> y'all, 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 immature, y'all immature, but y'all immature. I would keep, I would keep immature. laughing at that. <laughs> but, Listen, so you, 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 you don't want to put some masculinity on me. <laughs> 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 what would you tell somebody if they were coming to the Bahamas for the first, if they were coming to the Bahamas for the first time or experiencing carnival for the first time? Like, what is something that you would tell somebody if they wanted to experience that? I would tell them, it's as simple as this. Based on what I saw with Carnival, Carnival is one thing. Freedom. Freedom of expression. Freedom to be you. Freedom to be happy. But that, that, the only sense of word I could use for Carnival is if you are prepared to be free, come to Carnival. Mm -hmm. If you are prepared to not be judged while having a good time, come to Carnival. Because you out there with everybody who enjoying the exact same thing as you. Everybody who would love to dance. Everyone who love soca music. You see what I'm saying? You have an opportunity to be out there, be yourself, be free, be in colors. You have a free, you have a free chance to be in a particular set of colors. A free chance to, you know, be with strangers and them strangers. You don't know them strangers from a can of paint, but it felt like you know them people your whole life. People who I have seen at multiple different sets of events without the carnival season of carnival, but to me, there's brethren now, and I don't even know their names. I can't tell you what their names are, but to me, because of carnival, especially the parade that solidified it all, that to me, they, that make them family. All because of how they express their freedom, and, and that's the word what a lot of them use to me. They said by this, their time to be free, especially Juve. I heard that word free and freedom a lot in the Juve parade. So carnival to me, that's freedom. You want a chance to be free? experience carnival now do you know that the bahamas is one of i think if not the only one of a handful of countries that have a beachside carnival road march like the carnival against the 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 vibrant colors of carnival against the turquoise blue water of the bahamas and white sand I, I didn't know that 
you just put. Beans. I didn't know that either. Yeah, it's, it's one of it's one of is one of the only. It might be the only or one of the few, but it is one of the only um, carnivals in the world that are that is pictured against the beach. Okay, let me ask this question: How long is the march? It ain't that long. <laughs> really and truly. It ain't that long, you know, but. <laughs> you say it's not that long. Look at, looking at this no, map, it's not. It's not like it's not like my like it's not like Miami. It's, Miami zone is like seven miles, I think. I, yeah, I think no, no, is. we don't even have seven miles. The, that's the whole island. We got like it might be a it might be like two and two miles, maybe a mile and a half. It's not that long. It's not that long. But we outside all day. Yeah, I see that. yeah, all day. All day. We outside all day. We outside all day, and we can pace like we like in Miami. You know how you go boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like uh, in the Bahamas, no, you take your time. This if we can we can enjoy the this sweet. But Miami, you got to be this sweet like Emily. Miami, you got to be a certain <laughs> a certain amount of feet from the next truck. Right. And that truck got to go. You got to be that truck got to be on by the stage or on the stage by a certain time. Miami Carnival is just mostly politics, mostly, mostly politics. Yeah, let, 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 see, you you talking about it. Don't do that. Don't do don't do that. I'm just saying. I, far, I understand from from your perspective. For, because far you my, were, from my perspective, as far as doing the sound on the truck. Right. Yes. But from a person that's reveling and on the road. Well, this is gonna be my first road march. Okay. In a long, 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 oh, long, word? long, long, long time. Yeah, because he's usually oh, he's usually okay. dealing with the sound. He's usually dealing with the sound in the truck, so he doesn't have the opportunity so, to, to enjoy, experience to, it the yeah, way we experience it. I don't have time to enjoy myself because I'm constantly moving the truck, listen, running back and forth. Hey, this is not sounding good. Ah, just this is okay. Just this EQ. Hey, something's wrong with this side with this side of the stack. Yeah, he's responsible for the for the experience. So now he get to be yeah, I get the one experience. of them spectators on the road. And his first experience is gonna be in the Bahamas with his one pack. Yeah, leave my one pack alone. <laughs> <laughs> and you 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 bought the you bought to get your road cherry take by Africa. <laughs> Listen, I pop in cherries. I pop in cherries from now to nineteen ninety. What? Okay. Then let, let me go. That, that's okay. I take that because I'm with my wife, so I, I will take that one. Listen, I can make sure I can make sure a world a girl dance up on him because listen, ah. Anyway. Oh, that that's that's the next wife. That's the next wife. But one thing, what I did love, but like I was expecting to ask them to be stingy because I know where I live. Sorry, not sorry, I can keep but a buck. Nah, they they not surprised the hell out of me. For a fact. Especially over here. I know that for a fact. They're not stingy with a wine. Boy, they was not stingy with a wine over there. Now you had you had you had maybe one or two, but they was very invisible. You you would have forget them because of everything what you were seeing. You see what they're saying? From that song drop and they they way start swinging and brethren you pull up or either you pull up from the front or the back they barking up on you that, they can bring the I wine know, to you Lano, you ain't Lano bringing the wine to them Lano was like oh my god Lano come to, Lano oh, come to me like a puppy he come to me like a puppy oh my god uh, I oh I thought he was gonna have a heart attack Lano you pulled the William on me how you mean you pulled the William on me Lano. What, what William do? I, I can't answer that. Until I know what he know. do. All I know. <laughs> William said, I go in over here. William may show up until 12, 1234. <laughs> uh-uh. That was a meeting. That was a meeting. I, I promise you. Said, I, I never I leave the road. In the she just was, I, was, I don't know. They Will just you? was whining on me. Will William, you? come back married. Yes. William will disappear. <laughs> Will you disappear for three hours? Will you come back? He say this. This my girl. I say, huh? And she was. <laughs> Boy, I be laughing, man. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hey, when he say he be right back, listen, listen. We 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 can't talk too long with that man. We we can't run on with that. I got. We got I, get, I, get, I, get, I gotta I give a shout out to question. my boy. 
I got one more question for Lionel before I let him go. Tell talk me to about love. your experience with the events. Because you talked about Carnival, you talked about the Juve, you talked about your experience with the bands. Tell me your experience with the events. And have and prior to this, prior to Bahamas Carnival 2023, did you listen to Soka? I can answer the last one first. Soka music, love it. But who do want? Soka music is a movie. It's a music. It's 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 a movie. It's movies in MP3 format. Okay. Wait, hold on. With three to four minutes. Were you listening to Soka prior to 2023? As intensely, no. Yeah, I knew of those songs, but I wouldn't say they were songs that I would run to. You feel me? That I would play over and over and over again until Carnival 2023. Carnival 2023 gave me an even greater respect. I wouldn't even know in these sets of songs was Carnival music. Like when I was a child, I used to be bussing, Dead or alive, should we come back? Like I, I didn't know that was a carnival song. I didn't I knew nothing about the world of carnival from then. But as I grew older and then and, and dealing with Carnival 2023, like that opened up my eyes to make me appreciate it. Because like I said, their music for me is a movie in MP3 format. You could only experience that. I I say in it, but you have to experience it when you on the road. That's the best way to say it. Now, to talk about experience, once again, my greatest experience with any of the events would have been Mass Chaos. I ain't moving from that. The other sets of events, well, you I can keep it a Mass buck. Chaos, ain't you? I, the best. The best. I ain't moving. Sorry, not sorry. But when it comes down to the other sets of events, um, we have to work on how marketing is done for Carnival in this country. Like, because some of what I have, would have seen, it wasn't too appealing. There, there was a particular band that I would have went to record and get some work done in for, interview, so on and so forth. Yes, these people are enthused about Carnival, you know, very enthused and want to get their name out there and stuff like that. But that marketing, baby doll, work on that marketing, you know, and, 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 and keep it a buck. As great as some of the events may be, we have to respect time. I am a respecter of time. If it's starting late, I promise you're going to have an issue with me. You will have an issue with me because I am a respecter of time, and we do not respect time in this country. I, I don't care who gets vexed on air in this. We in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas need to learn to respect time because we got to remember Carnival is more than just for Bahamians. Bahamas Carnival is more than for Bahamians. It is for everyone that comes here from around the world. We had plenty of people from around the world to join Bahamas Carnival, come to certain sets of mass events and did Juve and did the, 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 the cruise, which was the wave events. Shout out to DJ Bravo and them. We have to respect time. Because of these people, we are a representation for what the Bahamas is to these people who come in from, from Timbuktu to come see what we do here in the 242. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got to say about that. Now, um, I want to thank you because I know that you have to run off and take care of some business. But um, as we move forth into 2024... What are some things that you think need to happen in this current year for the carnival to be successful and for people to really enjoy and understand what carnival is? Well, I'll say this. I, I got to go back to marketing because to me, I feel like right about now, it's been, it's been quiet. 2024 already here. Carnival is supposed to be starting in two months. I really ain't been hearing the buzz right about now compared to how I've been hearing the buzz last year. I've been hearing it very loud from the January 2023 compared um, um, straight down to me. It's been a bit of a quiet. Mm. I'm hoping there was a storm behind that quietness over here, but I ain't seeing the storm rising. I just been it, it been quiet. So we have to work on that marketing and we have to make sure that that is marketed properly. But you see what I'm saying? Whoever is behind the the, the big boys of, of Carnival, y'all stop being cheap with y'all marketing and y'all stop being quiet with it. We got to be loud with what we're doing 
because that's a loud event. I am hoping the Carnival 2024 is a big success, but right now, because of me not seeing much, I'm honestly a bit nervous about it. I truly mm. am. Mm. Well, that brings me to my other conversation. Um, thank you, Lando, so much for participating. That brings me to my other conversation, understanding the value of investment. I have been told by several people who are responsible for the carnival product that the market is dead. But my thing is, you drive the market. You control the behavior of the consumer. Your marketing, car your marketing campaigns are what dictate the success of this product. You cannot rely on the consumer to be out there, say, looking for these things. You have to present them with choices. You have to present them with information. The reason why the other carnivals were successful was because we were constantly pushing content in front of them. We were making sure that there were events available. We were talking about the music. We were talking about the, the, um, the bands. We were putting add dollars behind those things. People right. think that sending a WhatsApp is advertisement. It's not because it's only going out to the people in your phone. It's not going out to the general. It's not going out to the world. Put some money behind it. Oh That's the thing. They don't want to spend money. So you got to spend money to make money. So Exactly. That's it. You come up with a you come up with a success matrix. A success matrix is what makes what what numbers be, be besides your end goal makes this product successful. So if you say as a band we want five hundred people on the road, right? But if we get two fifty, that's a success. Because we can still break even, we can still look good on the road, and it doesn't it doesn't put us in the red, right? What is the experience that you want to give your people? You have to understand what that is. If you understand what your, the experience is that you want to give those people, then you create a campaign that feeds to their emotions and also pique their interest so that they would feel like they they would they would have a fear of missing out which is the mofo effect if you feel like you're gonna miss out you want to participate like they had jazz in the garden recently in south florida my husband went to get me a tea and i was like i'm not really interested you know why because going to a concert nowadays is not special anymore I don't want to be outside mm. in the heat when I could watch it tomorrow on YouTube and get the best views. Yep. Why am I spent why am I spending XYZ? The only reason I would go out there is for the camaraderie. But if we 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 had we had the pandemic recently, right? And people act like that didn't happen. That was that that was traumatic for me. In the pandemic, a lot of people realized that they took relationships for granted. And they a lot of people said that that was one of the things that they missed during the pandemic. Just the ice, being isolated in your home was maddening. So if we know that that's a problem, why don't we then use that in our marketing and appeal to that fear, if everybody else is doing right, everybody else does it. They appeal to people's fears. They appeal to people's egos. Why are we not using these things to create the create the hype behind this product? Again, we have one of the most picturesque carnivals in the world. We don't have to. We don't have to get it a hundred percent right. But Jim, everybody taking videos and selfies and, and um, vlogging and whatever. This is, the per this is the perfect place for you to do all of that. 
<clears throat> the one thing we didn't capitalize on either was how it was presented. Because remember now, one of the one of the best carnival songs I would have hell in Carnival twenty three uh Carnival twenty twenty three was a song called Come Home. Now nah, if you know the song right. called Come Home. That <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me and listen to me well. That that <clears throat> I I I mm. that is getting me so emotional. <laughs> But it's getting me to move to. <laughs> well, it, it gets you emotional at two levels because you got to meet the artist and 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 vibe with her, line with her at several activities, several personal activities, up close and personal activities. Plus, you got to you got to experience the talent, like, and the energy of the the energy, the sonic energy of soca is on a higher vibration than a lot of the music that we are constantly bombarded with on the radio airwaves <laughs> carnival or soca in itself is a joyous sound like it sounds like the laughter of the caribbean like it sounds like happiness Right. It truly does. It truly does. That's why I call it freedom. Especially that song, I'm, a, I'm at a happy place. I will never change everywhere I go. Listen, you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. This Listen. Mr. Rapper himself, conscious, <laughs> self-proclaimed conscious rapper himself. Now look at him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I truly do. I, I'm a huge fan of it. I, I want the product to grow here. Because we could take it to the world, but we truly right. can. Because the world come to us. I hope it gets better, but for real, for real. Uh, I want to. I want to spark off some numbers because we talked about the investment and investing, right? But I want. I want you guys to understand what the value of investment is. Okay. So in Toronto, and Carabana is one of the largest. One of the largest carnivals. In, in the, the northeast world. region, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, a study in 2009 found that Scotiabank Cari- Caravana Festival has a significant economic impact with over 313 million going to, to, to the Toronto economy and 438 million annually to the Canadian economy. The festival is known to bring in over 400 million annually to its Ontario economy. Similarly, government reports indicate that revenue from Trinidad and Tobago Carnival exceed, on average, 100 million a year. When the carnival was canceled, for the pandemic, those three years, it put the whole, in, the entire country in a deficit. They were in a depression as a result of not having those carnival dollars flowing into the community. Um, <clears throat> the mass industry also, signif- also generates a significant significant economic activity in the range of sectors in the local economy, such as entertainment, media, hospitality, and retail sectors. That's like all your food vendors, um, all your artists, they work, I mean, they work the, ho- the, the hotels, the Airbnbs, the drivers, everybody's working during that time. The Crop Over Festival that dates back to the plantation area era and was a big extravagant celebration organized the plantations to mark the end of the harvest during the 1940s. And this happens in Barbados. The celebration dwindles after the second world war when the demand for sugar decreased and many plantations plantations around the island closed. 90 million odd dollars injected 
from the crop over event every year. That's not inclusive of all the events and everything else, right? Miami Carnival. Miami Carnival. Miami Carnival does a hundred and something million a year in the what is it? Broward Dade is it Broward, Broward Dade County. In the Broward Dade County community, right? Additionally, there's an additional there's an additional 150,000. And this is, this, this is based off of a study that was done almost a decade ago. So now they're due for another study, right? But these are, this, is, this is a report from a decade ago. People are come 100,000 people, 100,000 people come to Miami every year to participate in carnival. Miami Carnival, the cost of Miami Carnival is upwards to $3 million. But they re the reward is $97 million back. $3 million and you get $97 million. That's a no-brainer, my boy. Why are you not investing? Why are you not investing in the product people complained about the investment into carnival but they don't understand that that investment is recouped not only by not only by the government but it's recouped by the airlines the hotels the artists the designers who who other than junkanoo which they give for free because they build the costumes out of their own pockets. They're building these costumes for a carnival and generating revenue that they have never generated before doing the doing basically the same thing, but creating on a mass, on a mass level. So if you don't see the value of participation, let's talk about the amount of Bahamian artists that have now been able to tour and eat as solely an artist and not have to work nine to five because of carnival. There are artists that there were artists that are 100% full-time artists now traveling around the world in the carnival, in the carnival sector, just traveling around the world, participating in carnivals and generating revenue but that goes to the point that now that we have a product we can now join the conversation in the caribbean if you invest and are confident in your product it will succeed i would like to say <laughs> i would like to say that in 2024, we're here. We're here in 2024. We're here. We're at 2024 now. The only way that the Bahamas Carnival will be successful is if everybody that has a vested interest in Bahamas Carnival puts into the marketing pool and supports each other talk about it the same way that we talk about go to, come to the Bahamas. We get on our social platforms and be like the Bahamas, is, the Bahamas is safe, blah, blah, blah. Come to the Island because you have a vested interest in these things. You know that if people don't come to your Island, you don't eat. We can't afford to go back to the way it was during the pandemic. We listen. People was, people was eating merengue off the tree. <laughs> they can even eat sardines. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. Sardines. Sardines and tuna fish was too expensive. We was eating, we was eating leaves off the bush. Because that's how that's how desolate the economy was as a result of the 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 lack of tourism in the Bahamas. So if we want to grow industries. 
We have to invest. We have to promote. We have to talk. We have to create, if we will, an open verse challenge for our carnival. There has to be some movement, and the movement comes from the people that are responsible for the behavior of the consumer. And if the consumer enjoys it as much as Lano did, as much as you will, as much as William has, they will then promote that product because they want other people. The thing about when you feel good, you want everybody to feel good about something. It's like listening to a record, right? You hear a record and it's great. You're like, babe, did you hear that record? You want to tell everybody about this record. Like, what was it? When we heard the Buster at Rhymes album, right? That was that Buster and um and um and Tigger. Tigger. We were telling everybody because you want to share good vibes with everyone around you. And that's the same thing. If the consumers enjoy a product, they are going to stand on that product. Same thing. Lano experience mass chaos. Lano don't know the ins and outs of nothing, right? But right. the experience that he got when his first his first impression was distinctive and it made an impression on him. And now, whether yes. he played or not. He's going back. He promoted my. He didn't say go play with my chaos. He don't know if their costumes are good or bad. He don't care. Right, because the energy, the vibe, is what sets the tone, and that is what we need to understand. We cannot wait for an industry to be alive, because we are the electricity that makes this product move. Right. That's all I'm saying. Stand, if you're gonna stand on business, stand on business. And be a part, create the create that energy, create that vibe, be the vibe. So you ready to get your cherry boss? Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> I can't I can't I can't get past that. So I'm doing it with my wife, so <laughs> that's that's a different topic for a different time. I and just, story. I just want you to know you doing it with your wife, but you did I I giving you to the streets. I want you like Oh like, Lord, like, listen, now you threw me out like, like trash. Listen, oh, when like my. Natty say this, Natty have a song say it's called my all. She said, I don't belong to the streets, I belong to the road. That's me. Okay, so well, just know. Enjoy well, I guess I gotta enjoy the road then. Just just know, like yourself. <laughs> like like yourself. All right. I don't want nobody airbagging in my head because when the music turn listen, from the first fat You turn into a different zombie anyway. You go into a zombie mode when the music plays. From the plays. first fat to the from the first fat to the airplane is pace. I want you to know that. Okay, well as long and, as I have me some water, my liquor, I'm good to go. Uh, anyway, I can leave that alone. Wait, um, see, there you go. <laughs> big shout out this year. While Lano will be rocking with Mass Chaos, I will be with the crew because, of course, the corporation has joined the management of Crew Carnival, the newest premier carnival band in Nassau, Bahamas. They are, they say, Bring your weak, bring your bring your weak, bring your fat, bring your skinny, bring your everything. We take in everything, everybody. Find your vibe, find your tribe. Crew Carnival is for everybody. It's an experience that you would never forget. And of course, you know, if one like yours truly is a part of it, you know it's going to be immaculate. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. I want to thank our guest of the day, Lando the Sage. He had to get out of here. He had some stuff to do, pick up some people. But in the meantime, in between time, DJ Trill. Yes, ma'am. Talk to them, baby. Yes. Well, I'm just waiting for this, so I can't have no... It's getting an earful in my ear, so <laughs> I'm ready to go. Listen, I promoted... <laughs> She's been I... promoting since December, so... 
All right, so y'all make sure y'all check it out. Bahamas Carnival is happening May 16th through the 20th. I advise you to book your trip from May 15th so you can get, so that you can experience. Get some rest. No, 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 no rest. The rest from you is. Reach, from you reach to the island, you party in. Get to the Bahamas on the 15th so that you can have an opportunity to explore all that the island of Nassau or New Providence has to offer. Then, let me tell you how we're going to run down. Run it down. Thursday night, we out with Duddy Crew at the Untamed Juve. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. Purchase the tickets right now on carnivalconcierge.online. That's carnivalconcierge.online. And all tickets can be purchased there. All information regarding Bahamas Carnival 2024 is currently listed on carnivalconcierge.online. Okay, give me Friday night. No, no, no. Yeah, Thursday night. Thursday night, we link up with the Duddy crew for the Untamed Juve. Friday morning at 10 a.m., we outside with the B-Team DJs for Just the Lawn, breakfast party. It was Saturday. No, no, what are you talking about? Friday ain't done. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep going there. We got the <laughs> La Vie premier all-inclusive party happening from 2 p.m. until after that we heading over to the moving cool effect with co promotions then we're going to head over to the carnival grounds to for the concert the first night of concerts and activities featuring the song competition additionally Saturday morning, we outside Carnival Day from morning till night. We on the we road. fed on for on Saturday, right? Huh? We fed on Saturday. We fed in whole time from okay. We we not sleeping. We going home bed and come back. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Saturday, we on the road. We on the road. We on the road with all of the Carnival bands. We are on the road partying. We got con- we got rest stops where. They actually have a concert on the road with various artists. So you guys stay tuned to find out who's going to be coming to the Bahamas. That night, again, we're back at Carnival Village for night two of the concert series. Sunday, we get up. It's off to waves. We're on the boat with the crew. DJ Bravo, Playhouse Entertainment, B-Team DJs, Fresh Entertainment, we on the boat. We about to go do the waves. Then this is cool up fat and concert on the beach. You guys, like I said, nonstop partying, nonstop vibes. Y'all make y'all way over to carnivalconcierge.online for more details and information. If you would like to have some support to assist you, listen, if you go to Carnival Concierge, all of the events that we are promoting on that site are safe and enjoyable. It gives you the right experience and they are safe. So don't mind the travel advisory. As long as you party in with us, you're part of the crew and we're going to make sure you're all good. Okay. Ain't nothing going to happen to you when you rock in with the crew. Carnivalconcierge.online, our carnival service, our concierge service is provided by Gumbe Concierge, and they will be assisting people with transportation, ban, ban, um, ban information, securing your costumes, helping you with your hotels, and everything else that you would want to do, food, all of that. We also have, we also have a food tour if you come in on that wednesday we have a food tour at legacy farms that allows you to go to a farm and pick fruit and vegetables straight off the tree y'all ain't gonna do that nowhere else you know what it is for you as a traveler to come to the bahamas and cut cane and eat that raw out the bush bye-bye Bahamas Carnival 2024, Carnival Concierge. Talk to me, I talk back. It's the one and only Africa line, like I said. Understand the value of investment. 